Hi, it's Tom here from Fame Data Services, and uh, we're going to do another How Fast Is It Shoot video today. And we've done a whole string of stock videos, so I thought we'd run with a modded one today. And uh, here are my pair of Nerf Strice. On uh, this side, I've got a stock voltage RM2 build. And on this side, this is built for overvolting, and uh, it's designed as a test platform for a number of different motors that run at higher voltages. It uses uh, three or four IMR cells located in here. There's a 14500 IMR cell. Uh, don't use truss fires because they don't deliver the current that we need for most of our NERF applications and they are unreliable and the supply in the UK is really, really rubbish. Uh, a lot of them are fake, um, they're recycled, they've seen some awful quality control issues and they're just chemically not as good as an IMR. Um, the IMRs do not have button tops on them so they do take a little bit of adaptation of the inside of the battery tray. Um, but I'm not going to do a mod video for all of these because there's plenty of those online. Um, I will quickly show you some of the features. I've got some cosmetic mods here. I've got both of these have uh, both of these have LEDs there in the end, and they've also got LEDs inside, which are kind of hard to see in sunlight. But uh, all of those are for using glow darts, and just because they look quite cool when you've got them both like this. Um, I do dual wheel these from time to time, and you can hear they make a good noise. So those are my two strikes that we'll be using today. And once again, as usual, I'll be using a brand new set of elite darts. I'll show you those before I start. And we're gonna do 50 shots from each. Uh, I gotta fix the RM2 build quickly before I start because one of the motors burnt out. Now this is an issue with RM2s. I won't know what's happened to this motor, but this one has shot probably a couple of thousand at least uh, darts and done 20 hours, 30 hours of use before it broke. So I don't think that's bad for a motor that costs under two pounds. Okay, so once again, Fresh clip, I'll open that up. And uh, as usual, I'll ignore the loading sequence because I know you don't want to see me load clips. I'll probably go through three cycles and just shoot 54 because you're bound to miss a few. But now, with the strife, obviously there's a wind up time associated with the flywheel. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and shoot a nice steady rate of darts. So I'll sort of be shooting shot, 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 like that, to try and keep the uh, speeds fairly constant so you can actually measure the performance rather than just measuring the dip because the dip will be slight because we're, we're working at a higher than stock voltage but it'll be there so uh, I want to get a true measure of, of actually how fast it's going not how much drop there is in the flywheel I can do that by doing a rapid fire test and seeing what the first shot is and what the last shot is and we'll get some idea of that drop range when we look at the averages anyway Okay, we're going to review the figures now for, this is three IMR cells and stock motors and a 16 gauge rewire and uh, all the locks and um, electronic chokes removed. So, high, 116 feet per second. Low, 66, that's probably a derpy dart somewhere. Average, 105 feet per second. Extreme spread of 50. So is that some of that stuff and a standard deviation of 8%. So if we look at that extreme spread of 50, that shows that you're gonna get those odd shots in flywheel blasters that aren't quite as consistent. Okay, uh, I've gone and put an extra IMR in now. So this is um, four lithium batteries and you'll hear there's a good difference in the motor rev. It's really spinning now. Now, I'd be interested to see whether this actually does shoot faster with the extra cell in, uh, because I believe that there'll be a, a lot more slip of the dart over the flywheel, and therefore you will lose some of that momentum. Although it will sound good, and you'll get less droop between shots, you can fire faster with four cells. I'm not sure that you're gonna fire better. So we'll see what happens with this. Okay, we're just going to go over the figures now from the um, four cell test. So, high, 120 feet per second, which I think is pretty respectable for a flywheeler. 99 for the low, so a bit more consistency there, and uh, they obviously the higher voltage is keeping the dart spinning, uh, it's keeping the flywheel spinning, and uh, making sure you don't get so many derps. An average of 110 feet per second. 
extreme spread 21, really low extreme spread, and standard deviation at 4%. Okay, so there we have our overvolt results, and uh, it's interesting to see that on three cells you're getting pretty close. Actually, the top top limits aren't that far off. I think it's four feet per second difference. Although, you, if you want to check that for sure, you can look at the graphs, which I'll put into the description box when I finish typing them all up, um, and you'll be able to see then the, the performance comparison between the two a lot more visually. But I think it's interesting to note that you've got much less of those dip shots. If you look at the range, it's much more consistent on four cells, and uh, although you're not getting a massive increase in um, top end. So you're only really getting that, you know, you're topping that magic 110 feet per second, um, but it's staying there, so there's less dip and less variation. So I would say if you're, uh, particularly if you're doing outdoor wars and you want reliability, I'd say that four cells is probably better, and that'll give you pretty consistent ranges. Accuracy does suffer. Some people have reported quite a lot of spread with these. Uh, when I've used four cells, I've noticed that you get more pinwheels, and they don't like, it doesn't like the poorer quality darts as much, it'll just spit them everywhere. Um, however, having said that, rate of fire is better because the recovery time is slightly better with the four cell build. Um, uh, we're going to pit this one against the RM2, which is um, the RM2 motor replacement. It's kind of an entry level modification for electric blasters because you don't have to invest in expensive batteries. You can run regular um, alkalines if you want. I use Energizer Extreme 2300 MAH uh, rechargeables in my RM2 build. And uh, like I said earlier, the RM2 build that I've got at the moment has blown a motor last week at a, at a game. And uh, I'm going to change that out in a minute, and then we'll get that up and shoot that. Now, that I've used probably, I've had about nine hours out of that one, ten hours gaming time at least, and uh, this one about the same. So it'll be interesting to see how well the RM2s hold up compared to the overvolting, uh, which is a slightly cheaper modification, pound for pound. And we'll see whether you can get what offers the best value for money. I think for durability, probably overvolting is the way to go, because um, there are some well-documented issues with the RM2 motor. Uh, there is a compromised situation, you can use PN racing motors which are um, a hot wind and, but they only use 4.5 volts so you're talking about not needing these lithium cells again and I'm going to investigate those and I'll, I'll use my RM2 test bed um, for that and I'll probably do a video on those in the near future.